Hello world, Constantinos here. Today, we are going to go over an Android Focus video, and specifically, what I consider to be the best practice in implementing a click listener for a recycler view item. This is such a simple and common use case that virtually every application has, yet more often than not, I see developers going for the easy way that's not great performance-wise. Sure, um, modern smartphones can handle the overhead of a few extra method invocations every now and then, but still, I think there's always value in striving to improve our code bases and aim for the best practices. Also, in more complex UIs, optimizing our calls can come in handy as we can see frame drops if we're not careful. So let's get right into it. I've created the simplest recycler view can, you can imagine. It's going to display a list of strings that I pass statically here uh, in our activity. And inside the adapter, you can see that there's no much going on. We simply create, uh, we inflate the items and we have the reference to a simple text view. Now, currently, um, our application simply displays the strings and there it is. And there is no um, click functionality just yet. So let's see how we would uh, perform that. Let's go for the most common way that I've seen uh, that is maybe the worst, in my opinion. First of all, we need um, an interface to handle the callbacks back to the activity. It's always good to delegate the implementation of the listener to the activity so as not to give too much responsibility in our adapter. Uh, here, since it's going to be a very simple scenario, I'm just going to use a higher order function uh, so let's name the click listener. Um, that's going to have a string and return nothing. We need a comma there. Okay, so we have our click listener. Um, by the way, let's implement it here in our constructor. We need to pass it in our adapter. Uh, since the last argument and as a higher than function, we can move this out of the parentheses. So for a very simple uh, use case, let's create a toast, display the string that was clicked uh, and use uh, a short length and finally show it. So great, we are ready to go. Um, so let's go for the easiest way. As I said, let's do it in the onbind view holder. Here we have uh, a very clear uh, way to do it. So let's register the listener and inside the callback we can uh, invoke the click listener higher than function, passing it the data list at the position that we're currently in. So if we were to build that, let's see. Okay, so now we have it. And if we click it, there we have the toast displaying. Text 8, text 12. So everything is working as it should. But what's the problem here? The problem is that on bind view holder gets called every time an item gets recycled or comes into view, which means that we have we're going to have invocations in the set on click listener uh, method uh, many times throughout the uh, the lifespan of the recycler view. So we can do better than that. Maybe we have to find a place to set our listener that will just get called once and it will work dynamically by using the position that will be changing uh, to pass in the higher order function. So let's see how we can do that. Now, a very uh, obvious answer would be to use the onCreateViewHolder method that we know that gets called only once in order to create the MyItem um, ViewHolder instance. So let's start from there. First of all, let's create um, a VH temporary val here, so we have uh, access and then return VH. And the only way reason I did that, so now we can go item view set on click listener, and here we can uh, set up our click listener. So what we're gonna do? Click listener, um, invoke it using the data list at the position. Um, oops, and now we stumble upon the first problem. On create view holder, in contrast with on bind view holder, has no reference to the position that we are at. 
Maybe if we try adapter position, nope. Nope, I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Uh, okay, let's not panic yet. Let's try and find another place. Maybe the constructor of the my item view holder class. So let's create the init block and uh, copy that block here, paste it here. Obviously, we do not need the VH. We are inside the view holder. And something very interesting happens now. We do not appear to have access to the click listener, neither the data list, but we know the adapter position. Now, let's see why we do not have reference to those two. In Kotlin, every class that gets declared inside another class is by default static. This means that it has no implicit reference to the enclosing class, in this case, my recycler view adapter. In other words, it does not have access to the data list, click listener, or any other variables that this class might have. Um, a common workaround, an easy one, would be to simply declare this as an inner class. This tells the compiler that, okay, let's have an implicit reference to the enclosing class. And as you can see, um, this gets rid of the errors. But why this is a problem? This is not an optimal solution either because now we have increased the memory footprint. So performance wise, we haven't made much progress from what we used to have here. Um, but also we have tightly coupled this view holder to the adapter. So if we were to move this in a different class, in a different file to maybe reuse with another adapter, we would not be able to do that because now we have, we are forced to have the reference to my recycler view adapter. So this is not good, so let's go back. But if we take a look at that, the things that we know here are the things that we not know here. And again, the things that we do know here are the things that we do not know here. So maybe if we combine the knowledge of the constructor with the knowledge of the onCreateViewHolder method, we can have a more elegant solution. So, um, we know that we know the position here. So let's try and use another um, higher function. Uh, maybe name this click at position. It's going to have an integer this time and return unit. Okay. And inside here, we're going to invoke that one. The only thing that we have to pass here is the adapter position that we do know. Okay. So we're fine at this place here. Of course, we need to implement it here as the second argument in the constructor. And what we can do is move that one there. And now we can invoke the click listener by using the data list that we do know and passing the it. Look at that. Now, it is the position that has been passed by the hierarchy function in the constructor method here. And of course, we can inline this declaration. Thank you. Delete the view, the onBind view holder set on click listener method. No errors in the compiler. Everything looks good. Let's see the activity still invoking the toast make text um, static method. So what if we were to run that and see what we would have? Installing, success, okay. So we have our recycler view. And of course, our click listener is working as expected. So what we have managed to do essentially is get rid of the continuous set on click listener invocations inside the onbind view holder and have them only get registered once we register the listener in the constructor here. We simply pass the adapter position that we do know and let the onCreate view holder handle the rest. So this is what I consider to be the best practice in implementing um, a on click listener inside a view uh, inside a recycler view. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.